The renewed buccal ethnic disturbances started in December 2021 when the Upper East Regional Security Council restrained the Mampuses from performing the funeral rites of their late chief who died 40 years ago. The current disturbances has led to the death of over 14 persons and injured several others, including three military personnel who are reported to be responding to treatment. Teachers and health personnel are also not spared by the disturbances, as many have sought for transfer to other districts, thus affecting the delivery of social services. The ban on the riding of motorbikes and wearing of smocks, coupled with the creation of Kusasis and Mampusis markets, negatively affect residents in the area. Some traders in Boku tell City News how the Ampas is affecting their livelihoods. We want peace. Government, we are begging you. Because sometimes when we say we are begging, some people say that that we are begging for them to come back. It's not that way. Because we want peace. See our children. They are no more going to school again. No Arabic, no school. And we even market women. We can't even sit down and sit in our market again. So we are begging government to do something. Help us. Let them, let them come at one place. That's only what we beg for peace. It has affected us a lot. We don't even get the income we used to get previous days. This day is crap. When you come to market and sell up to 50 so they say, thank God, you are the luckiest person. But for the previous days, you can sell up to 3,000, 4,000, and we thank God. But now, dear, it's very bad. And we are pleading on the government to come to our aid and then help resolve this conflict. It has checked like it is long. See, so it started before December, so, and we are in March. The conflict, it has distracted everything. You can't go outside and buy goods and come in. Those from outside to the camp bring goods in. But please, we are appealing to the government to send more security people to Boku here so that they can control the conflict for us. People outside here, the road is meant for government, but those who own the road is there. The government is different part, and those who own the road is there. You can pass and go outside. If you go, they will go and cross you somewhere, and they will shoot you down. As residents continue to live in fear, the Boku chapter of the Mampurugu Youth Association says there was the urgent need to constitute a neutral committee to look at the critical issues fueling the Boku disturbances and proffer solutions to restore peace in the area. Addressing a press conference in Boku, secretary of the group Majid Bagura said a committee of such nature will unravel the facts surrounding the supposed Supreme Court ruling on the matter for an amicable resolution. Government will set up a committee to look at the Boku chieftaincy issue. I think this is in line with our resolve to ensure that the Boku chieftaincy issue is brought to finality. Since it's now glaring that government and ministers' position on the Supreme Court ruling, they were misinformed by Stephen Yakubu that there is a Supreme Court decision to the Boku chieftaincy issue, which is not true because we have made available the only decision relating to the, to the chieftaincy issue by the Supreme Court was the discontinuation of the case. Mr. Bagura called on the government to be proactive in dealing with the matter. He demanded the removal of the Upper East Regional Minister, Stephen Yakubu, for acts, he says, compromises the peace of the area. Since the conflict started, there is no any minister, be it interior, defense, or national security, that have visited Boku to assess the situation. No. Even the regional minister who is here has not stepped foot in this palace to even talk of peace. The regional minister hasn't come. But we are reliably informed that he has been to our other brothers, not once, not twice to talk to them, yet he has not stepped foot here. This clearly shows his biasness 
This clearly shows his biasness. And then I think that it is high time the government should take a serious view of Stephen Yakubu presiding as the regional security council chairman in the Upper East because he's, he's incompetent in the job and the president need to reassign him or to fire him to bring a fresh brain who will attack seriousness to bring in peace in Boku. But the Upper East Regional Minister Stephen Yakubu described their call as baseless, saying on the contrary, his outfit is doing everything possible to bring lasting peace to Boku. Reporting for City News, I am Frederick Awuni, Boku.